Now, what is NGK? NGK is a new generation commercial grade basic blockchain project. If Bitcoin, created by Satoshi Nakamoto, is a virtual financial network parallel to the real world, then NGK hopes to build a bridge that can connect with the assets of the real world. Today, we had the privilege to interview Stefan Leeten, the Chief Technical Officer of NGK. Dear audience, thank you for joining us for this interview. My guest for this session is NGK's Chief Technology Officer, Stefan Leeten. Mr. Leeten, hello. First of all, kindly introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. I'm Stephen Leeten, CTO of Spirit Stone. I'm mainly responsible for the work related to the bottom layer of NGK blockchain, cryptocurrency, and network security departments. Fantastic. Now, do you mind sharing with us what you did before entering the blockchain industry and what drove your interest towards the blockchain industry? Now, before entering the blockchain industry, I worked in the semiconductor chip manufacturer industry. I was mainly responsible for the adaptation, testing of electronic chips and related system construction. Now, this made me very interested in this particular program, and this was, an, in fact, an accidental opportunity of which I'm very grateful for. I learned about Bitcoin and blockchain, and the fact that there are several new companies in Silicon Valley doing this. I'm very excited to participate in the upcoming Technology Summit. Indeed, blockchain technology can be said to be a relatively innovative technology. Then we also know that there are many blockchains such as Ethereum, EOS, and TRX. Now compared with these blockchains, what are the underlying advantages of NGK? Please elaborate to our friends and audience. We all know that the traditional blockchain will cause network congestion with the increase in transaction volume and decentralized applications. The deployment of the underlying architecture limits the possibility of the changes so it cannot be effectively expanded. With cross-chain and side-chain, it is impossible to make a fundamental change from the core. Obviously, this is a pathological process and will continue to increase with time. At this initial stage, NGK can reach thousands of transactions per second and can be effectively expanded. For example, the improvement of TPS I mean, NGK blockchain solves the problem of low performance of traditional blockchain applications, and this, for me, is a great challenge. On the other hand, the traditional blockchain only meets the needs of the currency transactions, and NGK uses the DPOSS consensus algorithm to make large-scale commercial applications possible. It is a blockchain landing solution. And I have to say that this, in this way, it's not only avoiding bifurcation, but also improves cooperation for producers, thus ensuring the security of the main network operation. You know it's easy to understand. NGK has improved on the basis of the previous DPOS consensus algorithm. Using BFT DPOSS consensus algorithm, this algorithm reduces the block time to 500 milliseconds which greatly reduces the communication time and greatly increases the number of transactions that can be confirmed per unit time. Now, could you help explain to us why did NGK abandon the traditional POW POS consensus mechanism and adopt the DPOSS consensus mechanism? We all know that blockchain technology is constantly being updated. If it cannot be effectively expanded, it is likely to be replaced by new technologies. Due to the innate deficiency of the traditional consensus mechanism, there are some defects. Either it consumes a lot of energy, or it destroys the essence of decentralization, which is not what we want. So we have improved on the basis of DPoS and are in the process of continuous development of retaining some of the original features. Now, to complete the calculation, it needs 21 representative nodes selected by the bearer to provide CPU computing power. We can understand it as a new communication method. This method reduces the communication costs and speeds up the communication efficiency. So NGK has faster processing speed and more powerful transaction performance. Now, since there are 21 super nodes, you need to build your own blockchain ecology. As far as I know, many blockchains are working hard to develop their own landing ecology. 
I want to know how NGK will face this challenge. In terms of the bottom layer, on the one hand, we will lower the threshold. The NGK blockchain handles the complexity of development for decentralized app and provides a complete bottom layer template. They can use their familiar language for development, which improves the application. And on the other hand, we will reduce the cost of developers. On platforms such as Ethereum, since the TPS of Ethereum is not so high, it is easy to cause network congestion. So the cost of running smart contracts is very high. But NGK's TPS is very high, so there is no such problem. That's great. Now, I heard that the NGK main network will be launched in October. How will the ecology help the main network when it's launched? After the main online launch in October, the entire application system can be deployed. In fact, we have already deployed some landing applications. Users can use NGK tokens to directly purchase merchants' merchandise. Now, this aspect has accelerated the circulation of tokens. After the main network is launched, the entire ecology can run. We're all certainly looking forward to that. What other predictions can you make about the future of the blockchain? Now, I think the blockchain must develop towards the trend of servicing large-scale commercial applications. If it does not develop in this direction, the application will not be able to land, and it will not be able to serve the real economy. Everything will be empty talk. Certainly. Now, all technologies are for commercial applications, which brings us to the end of this interview. We can all agree that we have a lot to look forward to as NGK continues to develop. Thank you very much for accepting our interview and for your time.